The medical mystery and two little girls, Tatiana and Krista are their names, who've already overcome some incredible odds. The chance of being born a conjoined twin is less than one in 100,000. And while every case is unique and full of challenges, the children you are about to meet, they're connected in a way that puts them at risk, but also may give them an astonishing power that no one else will ever fully know, as Neil Karlinski now reports. The girls are over here watching TV. Tatiana and Krista Hogan are what's called Hi. craniopagus twins. That one's Tatiana. Hi, Tatiana. Oh my gosh. And the bigger one on this side is Krista. Hi, Krista. They are connected at the head, but it runs more than skin deep. They share a brain. You girls are happy this morning. Oh, they're happy all the time. Are you? They are true medical wonders. These twins, I think to our current knowledge, are the only ones that, have, that do have a common neurological connection. When we visited their home in British Columbia, Canada, we were amazed to learn that nothing seems to slow them down. What appears to be an insurmountable physical challenge to them is just normal. Okay, I come sit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the similarities and the differences. Tatiana is more of the laid back one. She'll do anything her sister tells her to. <laughs> she doesn't usually fight with anybody um, unless they step on her toes one too many times. <laughs> and then Krista is the more of the aggressor. She is <laughs> very, I call her my little bully. <laughs> At first glance, they almost look like any other three and a half year old girls running around, getting dressed, there we go. New pants. and obsessed with cartoons. Yeah. What are you watching? Pokemon. Two of the happiest little girls our crew had ever encountered. Banana bear. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. They laughed and played the entire day we were there, anxious to show us their home. All right, oh, okay, here we go. I'm coming. Oh, the daddy bear. That's the big one. The twins live in what is already a very busy household, filled with siblings and extended family totaling 14 in all. And while they work together amazingly well to get around, they don't always agree which way to go or what to do. And that can cause problems. She has some scratches. Is that from fighting that with each other? That is from her fighting with her. She'll just get so frustrated with her sister that she'll, the only way she knows how to take it out is to reach over and scratch her. And we try and get her to stop, but usually we're 10 seconds too late. <laughs> At what point did you realize you were going to have conjoined babies? Um, I didn't even know I was pregnant with twins. <laughs> it was 2006 and Felicia Sims was 21 weeks pregnant and getting an ultrasound. And the technician looks at me and goes, did you know you were pregnant with twins? And I was like, no. <laughs> You're kidding me? She had to send the scans back to my doctor. And within that night, he was calling me, telling me he needed to talk to me. What did he say? He just sat there and he's like, um, there's no actual way to say it, but your girls are conjoined and they're conjoined at the head. And he's like, I have no idea if these girls are going to survive. My brain just didn't want to compute anything he said. And he's like, well, you still have time to abort them. And right there I looked at him and I was like, there's no way that's ever going to happen. There wasn't a moment of doubt? Never. Even from the moment he said it, I knew I was going to go through with it. But Felicia and the twins' father, Brendan, had no idea if their babies would survive childbirth. Just being in that operating room, waiting to hear those girls cry, was just the most hardest thing ever. The twins came out healthy and strong, weighing 12 and a half pounds. I feel so lucky that my girls actually survived. I cried when they were born, like, it was the most amazing thing. And then when they finally screamed, I was like, thank God. Did you see them right away? I did. Yeah. I got to see them. Uh, they cleaned them up and everything, and just as they were taking them to the nursery, they brought them over to me. and I got to hold their fingers and, and, and see them. That must have been overwhelming. It was the most, it's, it's undescribable. It was, they were beautiful from the day they were born. I'm just happy to have them. I love them just the same as I'd love any of my other children. 
From almost the moment they were born, doctors began to realize the twins were unique in more ways than anyone could imagine. We'd finished the surgery and were coming to see how they were doing, and, and I can't recall, to be honest, which one was getting the procedure done, but it was a needle uh, procedure that would be slightly sore, and the other one cried instantly. Dr. Doug Cochran is the twins' pediatric neurosurgeon. They have connections amongst blood vessels, both arteries and veins, but they also have this connection between their, uh, what's called the thalamus, and between the thalami, one in each to the other. So there's actually a bridge of neural tissue in these twins, which, which makes them quite unique. It also makes them impossible to separate. But Felicia and others believe the connection has also given the twins unique powers. A conjoined pair of twins is special, but they are a level beyond that. They are very interconnected. <laughs> um, they share a lot of things normal conjoined twins don't. They have the special abilities to see each other, see what each other's seeing through each other's eyes. Look at all that hair. During this haircut, for example, watch Krista. Is she seeing through her sister's eyes? Look at all this hair. You think they do share? Oh, I definitely vision. do. I definitely do. Felicia holds a pencil where Tatiana Can can't see it and asks her to grab it. One in mommy's hand. And watch closely here at Tatiana on the left while Felicia strokes Krista's arm. You know, when you were rubbing her arm gently, she started smiling and yeah. she had an expression like she could feel it. Yeah. And you can actually tickle this one. <laughs> and that one will sometimes giggle. They have the ability to most likely hear each other's thoughts. Hear each other's thoughts? Yeah. Why do you think that? Well, just because we've had EEGs done of the girls and we had one twin's eyes completely covered and they flashed a light in the other twin's eyes. And we can record brain responses from the opposite twin. And it goes back and forth. So uh, Tatiana, can, the responses can be seen via her eyes in Krista's occipital lobe and the opposite as well.